Hey guys, I know that it has taken forever um, since I last did this, but we are finally doing another songwriting challenge. Um, I am not very good at keeping my schedules on YouTube, so I'm really sorry. Um, but on that note, the December vlog is like coming up. <laughs> if you guys are not familiar, I did a songwriting challenge a few months back, a couple of months back actually last year. And uh, what I did was I wrote a song in 15 minutes and I had um, a random word generator to generate, sorry for the tricycle, five words uh, that would be part of my lyrics. And as it happens, I kind of used that in order of um, it appearing on the random word generator, but I'm not going to make it a requirement this time. Basically, it's still gonna be the same rules, but I'm just changing up my instrument. I'm gonna use a keyboard, an instrument I am not as proficient in. I really do not know what I'm doing with a keyboard. I just like um, writing on it occasionally, but when I do, I really don't know what chords I'm playing. I just really play it by ear. Um, whereas with a guitar, I kind of know the chord progressions and um, what chords go together with other chords and I tend to gravitate towards that when I'm writing a song. And with this um, kind of limitation, I feel like it would be good to narrow down the possibilities of the songs that I could make. You know, restrictions might be good for the creative output. But yeah, mainly I got this idea from a lot of people who've been doing songwriting challenges on YouTube, but mainly Tate McRae and Zoslini. They've done an excellent job doing this challenge and I just took a lot of um, inspiration from them and the rules from them. And I'm gonna set the timer on my phone for 15 minutes to be able to write like sort of an idea of a song, um, a verse and a chorus at least, and I'm still gonna use a random word generator. If you weren't able to catch my first video of that, I'll just link it on the cards above and also at the description box down below. So yeah, we are gonna start now. I don't have much time because I have an event to go to at 6.30, which is in about two hours, um, and I live far away from the event, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going on the random word generator site. Okay, so I'm gonna generate five random words. And go. All right, so I got Amber, user, property, sign, and explain. I feel like the four words are kind of connected, but Amber isn't, so it would be an adjective, a descriptive, a descriptive adjective of your eyes or whatever that's very usual you know that's an easy uh, way out to use the word amber I'm gonna set my timer 15 minutes um, actually I think I'm gonna set it to 10 first but with my last video what happened was I set the timer to 10 minutes and then it ended up not being enough so I finished off the song in another five minutes so yeah game This is a challenge because I don't know, I really don't know what to press. I'm just really literally pressing everywhere. relatively skippy you've got eyes and color remember I remember clearly you were a user <laughs> you were a user this seems to be like a pattern in these challenges like I always have a target I always have like a person in mind and I attack him with a song or her. You were such a you were a big user of words. Party in the playground. Party in the playground.
Um, you had eyes, you color. What did I say? I thought of you dearly. Yeah, I thought of you dearly. I. Used to think. So forgive me for thinking you were my property. Yours to keep. Mine to keep. I don't like that rhyme, but. I'll have to go with that for now. Um. A user. You have a good job. I forgot. Oh. Property. Mine to keep. Um. Ah, should I see in the sign? Should I see in the sign? Should I see in the signs you like somebody else? Let a nervous juice box you like. I only had a sandwich that I. Na 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 bite. No. What ingredient of a sandwich is kind of gross? Pickles. Okay, that's 10 minutes. I've used, so far I've used every single word except for one. Um, but I think I'll need five more minutes to polish this, so. Okay. Okay, anyway. Explain. Love is a game. Most. There's no need to explain. It's a game, especially if you're a bunch of five-year-olds. Because my concept is, this is like love on the playground, you know, like when you're preschool. Especially when you're a bunch of five years, six years, six years old? Okay, five years old. It's old. Bold. Don't have to like me back. Me, but I have the coolest. Coolest what? Bug collection. You don't have to like me, but I have the coolest bug collection that you've ever seen. What? Yeah, I think that's like the basic structure of that. And the chorus will just be oozed because I don't have time anymore. But I think it fits. Alright, so I have successfully used Amber, User, Property, Sign, and Explain. I don't remember the first song that I did for the songwriting challenge, but I pray that it's not vaguely similar to what I have made. You had eyes the color of amber, I remember clearly. I used to think you were the coolest kid in the playground, yet I thought of you dearly. A user of big grand words that Swept me off my feet. So forgive me for thinking that you were my property, mine to keep. I should have seen the sight you like somebody else. The way you pushed around, there could be nobody else. And there's no need to explain Love is a game Especially if you're six years old 
and so you have been told ooh, 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 ooh. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to do more of these things and if you have any suggestions for rules, new rules, or new restrictions that I could imply. Subscribe to my channel if you guys like my content and click the bell icon next to my name for you to get notified as soon as I post a new video.